I'll start the VOD now. Welcome. Welcome to Level Up TV with me, Disrepute and Vor. This Hello. is Clan Base Nations Cup 2012 Group C match Lithuania versus the Czech Republic. We are on the second map here. It's going to be Hidden Fortress. This is Lithuania's map pick. We've just witnessed a pretty convincing victory, I would say, by the Czech yep. Republic on their map pick of Purgatory. So Lithuania got a lot to to improve on, maybe, or to prove on this second map. Well, I wish them the best of luck. I mean, I already feel a certain affinity with this team because they've picked this map, and well, it's my favourite map. I respect map, every so. team so much that picks this map. I mean, they they already become one of my favourite teams. Just by yeah, I, I agree with that sentiment. Um, so, Spider, thanks for messing up the blue team's name. Yeah, well done, lad. That means you're going to have to do some manual input this. How do you feel? Yeah, alright. It's not too hard. It's done already. Ah, oh, well done. Let's have a look at the lineups quickly. DM, Solex, Vital and Wild for Lithuania. And for Czech Republic, Spider, Flat, Krissa and Detour. Frag has swapped out for Spider. So we're going to go live straight away. Wild's point of view. Oh my god, Detour calls a timeout instantly. Oh, is that... Careful, Dis. I mean, you sound pretty excited there about a timeout. So we can see all the spawns straight away. We see a Czech Republic player with the plasma. Looks like he's jumping backwards more than anything. Yeah, towards the yellow. Probably should get in there and get the yellow LG. Looked like Czech Republic got the red as well. Just didn't get the rail though. So following wild here. 15 seconds till quad. It's a, it's a 30 second quad again, Vor. Yeah, I mean, I don't like this. It's almost as if the server's got some sort of weird setup. Don't often see 30 second quads, but it is going to be as early as it could possibly be. It could spawn on 30 seconds. Could spawn 59 seconds anywhere in between the quad. Well, I'm not following the quad carrier, whoever that is. It's flat. There we go, follow him now. And Czech Republic have already taken a 13 to 1 lead. He's got two frags on the squadron, so we didn't actually miss too much. Red's going to spawn behind him! Does get machine gun down. <laughs> Chris is <laughs> down, apparently. He's, He's dead. <laughs> no chance of that 100% efficiency rating. Unlucky Chris, uh, you noob. Dying on this map, how could he possibly? Cycle around and get flat. Does look like he's got railgun going to be shafted in the back by Wild, who's now got a rail. He's got a shaft. He's got position on that upper yellow. Decides to just run out of that room. Nice rail on Chrissa. Chrissa going down again. Wild just ran as far away from that yellow room for some reason as possible, but it's working out all right on the frag so far. It's not. He's no. now down. Yeah. Dropped his rail as well. It's not the weapon you want to drop. Not on this map. This where there's only one source of rail ammo. Uh, from his spider, he does look a little bit laggy to me. Is that just me or you? No, he, he is laggy. He did hit a nice rail, but it does get shafted down by DM. Excellent. And I think yeah, he's heavy on the yellows. Well, he's just one over the mega, but he's giving it away. <laughs> What's he done this? He won it over with two kills and then left it. Just a case of not having the time, unfortunately. And Excellent. Yeah. Spider using up all that shaft ammo to good effect. A couple of frags there. Nice counter and wild. He was just dropping down with the rail. Not really sure why, but it was. Can't you tell me that you never thought that was a good idea? Dropping down with rail. Standard. Three seconds to go until the next quad of the map spawns. Detto takes it. Seems like no pressure at all on Must that Must be one. the power-up runner. He seems to really get a lot of them. Often in teams, it's just the guy that times them. Because like if, the he's, NBC yeah, or if he actually bothers to time else? them, he'll probably get his last armor before and save himself for it, so he'll be in the best position. Well, I like dedicated power-up runners, personally, because then you know whose fault it is if you don't get power-up. <laughs> whose fault it is if you lose.
So it's still following Detour. They've taken over this yellow room now. Yeah, and there's no pressure on that yellow room, so you know, we've just seen all four players from the Czechs move out to, I guess you'd call it the middle of the map where the red and the rail is. The central atrium. I wouldn't call it something as bent as that. <laughs> a sort of landing bay? If this was Star Wars, there'd probably be some kind of... Yeah, maybe, maybe. Wait, when he goes in there again, I'll decide on a name for it. Although they've all got open rooms, all these rooms. Oh, that's so. true. But they don't really look like bays either. They're just holes in the roof. Yeah. You know, I wouldn't want to be the pilot if you had to drop in through that. Yeah, but these modern spaceships, you know. Yeah, good manoeuvrability, aren't they, with uh, Branson designs? Thrusters at all sorts of angles, I imagine. Thank you for the mega health, says Detto as he moves through this lower water passageway into this back room. He's got every gun except the plasma and grenade launcher there. Oh wow, he thought that guy had gone through the telly, I think. So did well, I. He hadn't. Whoa, Wild gets a good pummel in, but I mean, Detto was so stacked, he's still going to survive. I don't know how long Wild's going to take to die, but 15 seconds before the quad, Detto's done a lot of damage. Stayed Where are his alive, teammates though? Yeah, Where are his well. teammates all that time? Nine seconds to go to a quad. Looks like it might be going towards Lithuania at the moment. That is great play from Vital on Chrissy. Decides to just run away. Solex with the quad now. Gets a bit of damage. Oh yes, nice, nice frag. Good rocket. Could do with this plasma. Oh, wow, that's a lot of damage he's taken from his own rocket. Oh wow, that flat. In the back. Got a pummel on the quad. Very, very mean spirited to take him out with that. 30 frag margin now. It is a bit closer than the last map actually. Five minutes in, a quarter of the map played. Yeah, but I know this. I really don't think the Czechs are going to be worried by that score line, are they? Probably not. Detto just having to back off from that lightning gun room and now has a shotgun in hand. Yeah, smart thing to back off. I mean, you know, he probably could have won it over again, but he'd have lost the, the decent health and armor he's managed to get for himself. Well, he had actually run out of shaft ammo, so I'm not sure he was really in a position to counter particularly. Oh, I think he was. Oh, do you? Yeah. That's actually really good, though. He's come back around, taking the shaft now, and he can move to the back room and start doing some serious damage out. Serious damage. Serious damage. As Vitals fragged. It kind of Missed feel like it's got free run of the map for a little bit now though. Yeah, it just feels like they can just run wherever they want without much concern. That's never a good sign. And you do get it in the top tier matches as well. You know, Teams have passages of play where they have complete run of the map. And that's when you really should be taking advantage and getting those frags. Yeah. I think we saw it for a bit in the previous map as well. Um, Portugal had passages of play against Denmark where Denmark were nowhere to be seen on Grim Dungeons. They just didn't pick up enough of frags though in that situation. Here we go, Spider with the quad for the Czech Republic. Red's up on its spot, he's going to miss out on that, and he's machine gunned down. And here's what on Wild's point of view. Yeah, Wild, he's on my friends list, but I don't know if I've talked to him before. None of the Lithuanian players, I think, are on my friends list. And only one of the Czech players. Which one? Guess. Detour. Detour, yeah. <laughs> that was a really good guess. What? How did you? That's a little spooky. No, I'm just like tapping into. And that's why he gets followed on stream the most. See, it's the yeah. deal. You, you be my friend. I kind of just sensed that it was him, you know. Yeah. I'm sure I had other before, but I, people, I don't know if they're removing me from it or. I'd remove you in a heartbeat. Or if, just because I add everybody that adds me, so I think there might be a limit or something, I don't know. I doubt it, mate. They just don't want to be friends with you anymore. <clears throat> yeah. Well, it's good, because I don't talk to anybody on the friends list anyway, so... Well, I would I, because the chat system is not the greatest. Here we follow no. Detour, it's still 35 seconds before the squad. Excellent. Good series of frags there. 
Solex finishing him off with the rocket launcher, but he did enough damage. Wasn't going to be set for the quad now, though. That's anything. Isn't. Not wasn't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not <like> demo pass. <laughs> yeah. Or is it? Ooh, conspiracy. We should have a little live icon on the stream that says live. Yeah, just like Sky Sports have. I love that icon they have. Oh, Solix is going to defend this quad. He manages to get it. He just ran out of rockets, though. Otherwise, Chris probably would have been fragged. Nah, there's no defending a quad against Chris, I'm afraid. But the middle atrium is lost. Don't call it that. <laughs> it's not really the middle or the centre, is it? Really? The bridge. The bridge. It's not even a bridge, but... Well, it is. I guess, sort of, yeah. Falling flat. With the rail, hits his fifth impressive hurdle for some of his stats. 51% rail he had. DM, 61% rail, 32 LG. Not bad. 50 frag margin, I mean. Don't say it. It's possible. No, no. You're no. echoing me, mate. I don't know what you've done. How am I echoing? You've just moved and you yeah. oh, God knows what's caused it. Nice rocket from flat there, direct to the chest. Probably his right lung right here. Do you see that you're echoing me there? Yeah, I just tapped yeah. out some liquid. I don't know what's causing it. I'm not even moving. Oh, I am now, but. It's alright. So still finally flat. It's just a bit boring. So I'm going to cycle away from him and follow Chris, who's been right in the middle of the battle. Great rockets on Wild there, just taking him out. Does just drop his railgun to uh, Lithuania, though. Not sure which player. They're about three around it. 15 seconds to go until Quad probably want to start moving there now. Now on Spider's point of view, just missing a few rails there. 46% rail for him. And they do have it seemingly locked down, the Czech Republic. Although no one's watching the front door. I don't know what Spider was doing, really. He managed just to back off onto the quad. Oh, a little bit delayed on that rail. Just misses out on picking up the red as a result. They can still move out and pick up more frags now. The yellow is up. Lightning gun wasn't. Five frags on this quad run, apparently. As it runs down, gonna cycle away from him though. Pretty hard to watch him get off flat. Press a bit of machine gun against Vital. So what, what chance do you think from this group um, the Czech Republic have of qualifying? They've already lost to France, but you'd say they're the favourites in the group four. Well, exactly, yeah. So, <coughs> so Croatia and Netherlands. Well, I haven't seen who's going to be playing for the Netherlands. It, it all depends on how strong their lineup is going to be. But, you know, that, that should be a close game between the Czechs and the Netherlands. Could be decided who goes who in second place, potentially. Perhaps. What about Lithuania? Croatia, their best bet of getting a win? I, d I don't expect their team to be very strong, to be honest. Croatia? Yeah. But do you think... Who do you think is going to win between the two, Croatia and Lithuania? Well... well so, wait, 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 listen. Lithuania have chosen Hidden Fortress, so but I want they deserve our support, yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, who goes through from the groups? It should be pretty clear-cut. Okay, no, wait, no, it's it should be. It'll be clear-cut <laughs> between uh, the winner of the France and the Netherlands will be the second-place team. Unless the Netherlands put out one of their potential teams, you know, they could take out France. There's always been that potential. The Netherlands always 
It's been a bit like Germany where sometimes they just don't sort of bother to field a team that is as good as it could be or is practiced or just field one. But they have so much potential. Stefano Crystal at the moment, 18 impressive for him. 67% rail as well, Vort. Not bad. Make that 68. On who, sorry? Chrissa, 19 impressives. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all, this. None too shabby. Of course, yeah. Kind of has plenty of time to add to that count. Yeah, what kind of uh, amount should he be hitting? I don't know, I mean, I've had a game against really low level players where I got like 60 impressives. I'm not but get that. This is not quite as low as that game. And he's not quite as vor like, is he? So. Uh. Nice rocket play from Chris there again, the frag on DM. Solix next to fall to the mighty rockets of Grissa. Two yeah, seconds to go. Him off the rails, so he's going for those uh, impressive. Yes. Wow, well, how did that miss? That was like through the model on my screen. It wasn't on mine. Was right so to the that's side. why I suffer on low ping because my models aren't in the right place. Whoa! Yeah. Look at that grenade. <laughs> that's like some kind of homing grenade. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was a brilliant grenade from Vital, and again they take the moral victory. Yeah, you have to I give them moral a victory. A two nil two victory them. for Lithuania here. That was brilliant, that grenade. The way Chris had tried to dodge it completely. Failed. I liked it. I really yeah. liked it. So um, apparently Netherlands are very close with the Czech Republic. So that will be a very interesting game. What's their team? What, what are you on about? A debate going on in IRC. It looks like uh, the Finnish team, you know, the, the quitters are moaning about something. I used to love Finland so much as well. They would play in everything. Just got to them this season, I think, the rules. Stopping them playing the lineup they wanted. Pretty unfortunate. 10 seconds to go until the penultimate quad of the map. DM trying to defend it desperately on his own with that lightning gun. Looks like Detel might be the guy to pick it up. Good attack from Solix. Briefly though, extinguished by Detel's Chris. Detel's always the guy to pick it up, Dix. I don't know what he's saying might be. He's going to be in debt to the Quake Gods for the amount of quads he gets, eh? That's terrible. I should apologise for saying that. I'm sorry. Oh my wow. god, almost lost the shaft battle, even though he had quad there to vital. Does just get the rail, get the 25, hurry up. Maybe even get the 5 bubbles if you got time, but... Yeah, maybe. Not too much help on this map. So, no. every little bit is as important as another, like the 5 bubbles. Over a hundred frag margin. I mean, it's not actually built up as much as it might have the margin. So, no, but you kind of ease off, don't you? You don't. You're not generally that heartless to, you know, want to just embarrass your opponents by winning like 200 plus difference. Well, if you're nice people. Let's have a look. Chris at the moment plus 35. Net Detal 32. Spider 18. Flat. 18. DM's got again 7k damage, 7.5k damage, so he's, he's dealing like 
a high damage level, really. I mean, yeah, that is a but high level of damage. How much has he taken this? Well, we don't know. We'll find out. I think the point is that if you can deal that kind of damage, then he's not as far off, perhaps, as the scoreline would suggest of being able to. Play. Well, if they had four of him, then you know it might be a bit different. But his teammates mostly aren't putting out the kind of damage needed. Not on a map like this, at least. I mean, as you can see, Chrysler is sitting on 12 point something, which rounds up to 13. Spider, only 7 health. Gotta be careful. Oh, 1 health, he's gonna go down. Vital getting the frag on the quad. Nice machine gun by Vital as well there. One minute warning. That was the final quarter of the map. We've got a minute left of play. I yep. think it's safe to say we can probably call this one now. Please. Czech Republic are going to be victorious 2-0 in this series. Spare me your mean-spirited sarcasm, this. It's not welcome. <laughs> mean-spirited sarcasm. I know what you're trying to do, this. You're trying to make them look bad. I'm not trying to make I'm anyone look any bad. That's a nice rough tomorrow. Tell you what, yeah, if you watched, I don't know, five or six years ago, teams getting smashed by this much, they wouldn't have this technical ability that Lithuania would have. Some of them uh, are watching Wild there, nice shots. No one's rubbish here. Detour. Fourth impressive of the map. Nice finish with the shotgun. Getting another. Maybe. Just, oh my god. All four of them just go down just before the buzzer. 237,125. We took 10,000 damage. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It was the same on the previous map. You know, he did the most damage, but he took the most damage. So there we go. That is the end of the map. So Czech Republic take it 2 0.